So we know Tesla's been planning something big, and we know it is about time. They're they're due. Yep. They're due for something big, and I'm pretty sure we found it. Pretty sure we got it. It was a similar situation. Uh, we'll take you back about two years ago to Autopilot 2. Yeah, so basically back at the beginning of October 2016, we were tracking Tesla's inventory on their website, and we noticed some new codes showed up. And yes. we saw this code called AP2 and, and APE. And we're like, what are these? And it's like, that looks like it's related to Autopilot. Yeah. And we had the prediction that some new Autopilot hardware was coming out. And a week later, maybe 10 days later, they had the big announcement. Boom, and Elon up. mentioned Autopilot 2.0 and Enhanced Autopilot was coming out. But the interesting part about that is we didn't see it in the U.S. Not in the U.S. This okay. Initially. Again, this was on inventory that we saw that was on its way over to Europe. So these yeah. cars had been built. They were inventory cars on their way to Europe to, to be delivered. And yeah. so nobody had seen Autopilot or heard of Autopilot 2 At all. anywhere yeah. until a week or 10 days later when Elon made that announcement. Yeah. And so now we're kind of in a similar situation, a little bit more than two years ahead now. And it looks like Autopilot 3, which is actually Autopilot 4, code has popped up. Tesla uses the AP3 code for the Autopilot 2.5 cars. And then AP4 is actually Autopilot Hardware 3, unless which they, is... Yeah. Um, unless unless they call it up, unless they're going to call it Autopilot 4 and just skip over the weird, you know, AP1, Maybe. AP2, AP3, yeah. whatever. It, it got a little confusing, but this is supposed to be with Tesla's computer which is not using NVIDIA's chip, it's their own, which is supposed to be doing 2,000 frames per second. It will be much faster than the than current. the 200 it is currently. Yeah. And this is what's going to be required for full self-driving. Yeah, so again, uh, this is Tesla's chip that's going to be coming out. They've, Elon has tweeted about it in the past. Yep. He said that previous cars and current cars with Autopilot 2 and 2.5 who have purchased full self-driving will be upgraded to this Autopilot 3 yep. hardware. You won't need to get your cameras supposedly swapped yeah. out. So, supposedly it's just the computer that is actually right there under the glove box. In a Model S and X. Yeah. And again, when we've seen this code so far, we've only seen it for the Model S Model X headed to your Europe, but also maybe in Canada and some other countries. Yeah. We just don't see it in the United States yet. Not in the US yet, but that's kind of like how it happened with the last one. Um, they build overseas cars first at the beginning of the quarter and then they will focus on US cars so I think it goes along with the same kind of timeline it's a very similar situation especially with this document that was released recently with the model 3 wiring diagrams and it shows Two radars. Two radars, yeah. So there's a primary and a secondary. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, because currently cars only have one radar one. and we have all the eight cameras. But a second radar, people have been wondering, are we gonna have a second one up front? Are we gonna have one in the rear? But it looks like this one, since it's a secondary, I would assume sounds like in it's, the front. it's gonna be up front and you don't know is it gonna just be a backup one. Just Elon in case. has talked about a lot of redundancy. Redundancy. Exactly. And this is redundancy. Yeah. Um, obviously if your first radar goes out. You're kind of SOL. So I, I really think it's it maybe just be right next to it. Yeah. I don't know. As soon as we can get our hands on a newer car, maybe we'll take off a front bumper. Yeah. Maybe and we'll see. You brought up an important point. This diagram is for the Model 3. And while we've only seen this for the Model S and the Model X headed to Europe, yeah. maybe it's already on the Model 3 as well. We don't know this yet, but it doesn't yeah. really make sense for them to launch the Model 3 and not have it. And then a week later, yeah. launch the new Autopilot 3 hardware. Exactly. So, and what's interesting about this diagram is it does say LHD in the top left-hand corner, left which is left-hand drive, which it makes sense why they updated it already for Europe and everything, because that's where these cars are going. So I, I'm really thinking maybe in the Q4 earnings call that's going to be happening in less than a week. There might be some announcements. The, the timing would be right because it'd be perfect. Yeah, you know, they just got rid of the seventy-five D, yep. and and we're like they've got, they've got to do something with the with the tax credit being cut in half, yep. and with now there being such a huge price difference between the S and the X and the Model Three, they've got to do something to like stimulate S and X sales, uh, especially yeah. uh, in Europe where probably everybody has been waiting years to order the Model Three. Oh, yeah, they got to do something to to make sure that they keep selling the S and X. Yeah, and the timing is just right with the referral program is ending on the first. First, and so it's free supercharging when that's free six months, nine months of free supercharging is ending as well. Yeah, this this is the, the perfect timing. If it's, they're having the call on the thirtieth, they can make the announcement and say, "Oh, starting today, all the cars were are being ordered." Yeah, include the new Autopilot three hardware. It just seems so perfect. When you when you really think about it, everything just lines up 
so perfectly. So I don't, I don't know. Should we, should we call it? This is our prediction. We're, we're thinking on the 30th on their conference call, they're going to drop that it's early because originally Pete Bannon, I believe is his name, is one of the chip architects at Tesla, said it would probably not be manufactured till the later part of Q1 of 2019. Maybe they were able to push it up. Uh, it, it works out timeline. Timeline, yeah. Um, unfortunately, we haven't seen any other codes, though. We haven't seen any yeah. new battery codes or any new supercharging codes. Not to say it's not out there yet. We just don't see the codes. Yeah, and, and so it would be interesting to see because we were yeah. predicting the other day that the supercharging version 3 should be coming soon. Yep. So that could be an announcement coming up this uh, As well as maybe as some well. battery options for Model S yeah. and X. Yes, yeah, so if they're going to be renaming those. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. A lot's coming. What do you guys think? Do you guys think version 3 supercharging coming soon? Or maybe an interior refresh for Model S and X? That's been talked about a lot. Again, we didn't see codes for any of that, but this uh, Autopilot 3 hardware... The, is, codes, is, the code, is, code on their, is out on their website. It's there for non-US cars, so yeah. it's out. So I, I really think we're going to see that on that earnings call. So definitely stay tuned for the earnings call. Should be a fun one. Um, but yeah, let us know down below what you guys think. Did you guys order full self-driving on your Autopilot 2 or 2.5 cars? I'm curious to know about that. I actually did it on this one, have it on my Model 3. Uh, and so therefore I expect to get the new computer because that's why I ordered the cars is I want full self-driving yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. We just wanted to come at you with this real quick because I think this is breaking Breaking news. I actually tweeted about it last night and a couple people sent me some messages wanting to know where the proof was well Here it is. I, I mean, I didn't want to just like throw it all out there But I mean the secrets pretty much already out there. I think people deserve to know so all you Model 3 owners and anyone cross out there in like Europe, you might be getting the new, cross yeah, cross those fingers. You might be getting the new Autopilot 3 computer. It'll be interesting to see what happens next week. Yeah, super excited for next week. Should be a good one. If it doesn't happen next week, it's happening very soon. Yeah, because I mean, it's in the code. We They updated the Model 3 diagram, wiring diagrams. It, it's it's coming. It's got to be coming. And I think and it's going to come time. It's, it makes in sense. seven days. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a quick one. As always, though, if you guys are looking for a Model SX or Model 3, now's your time to get free supercharging six or nine months, depending on if you've taken a test drive, and maybe even the new Autopilot 3 computer. Maybe. I don't know. It's, I it might be worth the risk, in my opinion. I might just having to be buying another one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. And huge shout out to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean, for helping make everything possible. If you guys are looking to accessorize your Model SX or Model 3, feel free to use Tesla inventory at checkout and get 15% off your first order. And they ship to Europe, mm -hmm. China. You can get all their accessories pretty much anywhere. So feel free to check that out. That's pretty much it, though. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go ahead and click here to subscribe. Here for some other ones. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.